Okay, so Davi and Emma, thanks so much for speaking to us today. We're so excited about the prospect of you being with us in Berghead um, from later this year. It's great to see your faces. Uh, better than seeing my face, I'm sure everyone will agree. Why don't you just both tell us briefly um, where you're from and what you're doing just now? Yeah, sure. Thanks, uh, Pete. And it's lovely to be with all of you, though not uh, in person, but certainly we very much look forward to seeing you all and meeting you all um, face to face one day. I'm Davi. I, I grew up and was born in Brazil. My dad was a minister there and uh, has at some point decided to move away from Brazil and come to Scotland to continue to be a minister here in ministry. He, his name is Alberto de Paula. He's a free church minister as well. You might know who he is. And we grew up in Dundee beginning in 2003, it was so a long time ago. So I grew up in Brazil a little bit and spent most of my time growing up in Dundee. Currently at my Chalmers Church here in Edinburgh doing uh, the student work, undergraduate student work, and also studying part-time at ETS. That's a quick Emma. background to me. Emma? Yeah, I'm much shorter. I'm Emma and I'm from Inverness originally, and I am currently a staff worker with UCCF. Um, so that looks like me encouraging and equipping Christian students to re reach out on their campuses at university uh, with their faith and um, to their friends um, and helping non-Christian students to explore the Christian faith. Fantastic. So UCCF, Edinburgh, Chalmers Church, you're in a great place. You're part of thriving church, thriving ministries. Um, why on earth would you leave all of that behind to come to uh, a small village in uh, the rural north of Scotland? An excellent question, Pia. Uh, well, Em and I both, we really have a heart for gospel and the gospel progress in Scotland. I've been um, training since university with, with a vision for vocational full-time ministry in the future for, for some years now, um, both as a ministry apprentice and with UCF as well. Um, and, you know, I have a, we both have a desire to be of use um, to the Lord for the growth of his kingdom and, and the establishment of his gospel here in Scotland. Where to do that um, has been the question on our minds in the last um, year or, or so. The whole of Scotland needs it, um, including here in Edinburgh, and we're glad of the time that we have spent here um, certainly doing that work. Emma's family, she mentioned, is from up north. She's from Inverness, and uh, Emma has you know, served in many camps up, up north, mission opportunities, and would really have a heart for that place in Scotland. Um, as we'd visit her family, we would hear of the church there and both all the encouraging stuff that's happening um, up north and also the challenges and the needs. And that really, um, over time, coincided with our desire to, to serve the gospel in, and in full-time ministry. And over time, we became convinced that that's where we would really be able to see ourselves long-term, where we could see ourselves being of use to the gospel, for the gospel. Um, myself, a minister um, in the Free Church, and I'm serving alongside. So it really does make sense for us to get some training up north and uh, get some experience up there with you guys and also within the Free Church. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Yes, good. And maybe I can ask Emma this one, although either of you can answer, but um, yeah. tell us, what are you looking forward to about coming to be in Berghead? Yeah. There's so many things we're looking forward to. We're really looking forward to meeting you as a church family and getting involved with all the ministry work that's already going on. It's been so exciting to hear that um, over these past few months, particularly, but even before that. And we really look forward to being part of that. And I think we're looking forward to being part of a community that feels probably slightly different to, to Edinburgh. Um, Berghead, I imagine, has a different feel to um, community life in Edinburgh, Weeds, which we hope would give lots of opportunities for us to build relationships with people around us and hopefully opportunities to share the gospel there as well. Fantastic. Davy, anything to add? No, no. And I'm also right. excited to come and train. <laughs> Last <laughs> question then. Um, tell us, we'd love to pray for you. How can we pray for you as you're right now and maybe as you prepare to, to head north? Yeah, um, it's, it's a big move for us. Um, be pleased to be praying for all the practicalities involved as we plan over the next few months. Um, how to get all our stuff up there as well as everything that needs to be in place um, do play, pray for um, uh, protection for us spiritual protection I would pray that we'd be really 
um, confident that the gospel is really, really good and really, really true and that we'd be joyful in it amidst um, all the emotions that come with leaving a place um, that you'd call home and a church family that really loves and supports you. Um, pray for both of us as well as we kind of wrap up with ministry over here and pray that the right people would come in and, 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 and take on the ministries that we're leaving behind. And um, yeah, and anything you'd add to that, Dylan? No? Yeah, I think that's it. Please be praying along those lines. Yeah, and let us know how we can be praying for you as well. Mm -hmm. Certainly, we'd love to do that. Folks, we'll, we'll pray for you in our service this morning. But for now, thanks so much for joining us. And um, Davi, I know you're going to preach for us in a couple of weeks' time as well. So we look forward to that, and we'll see you all again soon.